Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I didn't know what to call this video. Honestly, I, I have no idea, because I have all these little moments that I've gathered over the past week or so, and they're not tips, alright? They are not tips, and they are definitely not tricks. They're not rules, they're not advice, they're not really any kind of... They're not anything beyond occurrences, and none of them are related, which... It leaves me in the dilemma of, I have no idea what to call this video, but all of these little moments I want to share with you. So, I think I've just boiled it down to say, these are just my observations. I think that that's the best that I can come up with. But, these are my particular observations. They might answer a few of your questions, they might be moderately entertaining, but to me, most of them are just funny or just things that I thought you should know. So, I think we should get started. Observation number one. I have no idea why, but I will always feel compelled to barrel roll whatever vehicle I find myself in or anybody close to me in. So just remember, I'm not trying to jet ram you, I'm trying to barrel roll you. Just relax and let it happen. Observation number two. The only reason that I use a SRAW over every other rocket launcher in the game is that it has a higher likelihood of resulting in some kind of negative comment towards me in chat, which for some reason, yet again, I find extremely entertaining. Observation number three. I'm a garbage pilot, I will never ever be able to answer any of your questions about jets, and I will never ever be able to give you any kind of magical advice as to why these flying magical creatures are so deadly. And I'm not even joking at all. I can have Tom Cruise as my co-pilot in a dogfight against Helen Keller and Ray Charles, and I'd probably still call my local bookie and put $650 betting against myself. That's how sure I am. I don't care how blind they are, I'd probably still get dumpstered. Not to mention the fact that most of the skilled pilots that I do know, like Nooch Nucherino, happen to be too busy all the time and never have the time to teach me because, oh I don't know, maybe they're bouncing teammates 200 meters away from me every time that I try to pick them up in sea -Dews. Now granted, maybe he did this particular move because, I mean, I'm thinking about it logically, and maybe if he had him 200 meters away from shore, that would force him to work on his backstroke, and you know, every soldier and marine can always improve their swimming proficiency, but... I think Nooch is just a silly goose, and he doesn't want to teach me how to fly, and... And this needs to stop. Someone please teach me how to fly. This is horse So at the end of the day, you asking me how to be great in a jet, or how to be a great pilot, is really just useless. That's like asking me about water, or, I don't know, birds. But what is water? It's a difficult question, because water is impossible to describe. One might ask the same about birds. What are birds? We just don't know. Observation number 12. 
If you happen to find yourself in the same server as me and you would like me to notice you senpai, spamming the chat is not the way to go. I much prefer that you come up in person and just wave at me, maybe try to burn me with your repair tool for some reason, say sorry, and then run away. That's what I much prefer if you would like me to notice you senpai. Observation number six. I hate capping exterior flags on linear maps that have all of their cap points in a row due to the resulting HUD clutter that is absolutely outrageous. And I know that may not make sense immediately, but just look at this. Just why? For what purpose do we need all of that? There's, on one hand, I do understand that you want certain informational cues just so that you become updated as to what is happening in the match, but at the same time, I don't need an absolute onslaught of different colored text and icons and little notifications. That's just, it's too much. It's too much. And I know you might not think that it is, but I think one day Battlefield might look like this. That we are slowly approaching this kind of HUD status. And although I, I like my own little notifications, I like my little pieces of text in certain locations on my screen, but I don't need this. I don't need to order a Pizza Hut pizza in the middle of playing Crisis at 1080p. I don't want Battlefield to look like this, so please make it stop. Observation number 24. All of the most exhilarating moments that I have in Battlefield 4 involve parachuting and strawing at the same time. In case you are unfamiliar, it looks a little something like this. <laughs> Observation number two. There are only two things in this game that are awkward. Number one, playing with a riot shield on a no explosives operation metro server. And number two, whatever dance Yarbs323 is going to do in what I'm about to show you. I don't know what he got it from. I don't even know if this is technically a dance Yarbs, but whatever it is, I think you need to never do it again because it's terrifying. Observation number 200, the most ridiculous ragdolls always occur on either Rogue Transmission, Gulf of Oman, or the Naval Strike maps. I think Rogue Transmission is made out of bouncy castle material, Gulf of Oman, the sandstorm kind of just picks you up and tosses you wherever it wants, and Naval Strike is kind of just explosive. I think every character just has this overwhelming need to want a cannonball into the local body of water, or the closest body of water, but I don't really get it. It just happens. My final observation is that I always feel a little bit guilty anytime that I straw a transport vehicle and I get either a quadrakill or a pentakill. Just the thought that three or four gentlemen in that particular aircraft were not responsible for their own deaths, it it makes me shed a tear. Maybe I should stop cutting onions while I'm firing a straw, but 
I, I feel a little bad. I, I feel for you, bruh. All right, I feel for you. And that's really all that I had to say. I somehow kind of strung those together. I know it's not organized, but that's all that I really wanted to share with you. So if you would like to see any of these moments live, I will leave a link down below to my Twitch live stream where all of this happens in real time. It's it's kind of interesting because I get to I stream any time that I play Battlefield. So if you want to see any of this happen as it happens, like as I'm doing it, you're watching it with a 15 second delay, of course. I'll leave a link down below so you can follow my Twitch channel. And I guarantee, I mean, I can't tell you, but I can guarantee you that I have some goodies for you next week. I can't tell you what they are, because that would be illegal, and I don't want to go to jail, because I hear they don't have certain flavors of vitamin water, and I, I'm very particular about my vitamin water, but guaranteed goodies next week. I'll, I'll get to you when I get to you on that particular set of goodies. But I want to thank you guys very much for watching. For your bonus clip, I'm going to show you how to use a helicopter correctly and a very, very interesting straw shot that may or may not have been combined with other explosives to get me a triple kill. I think you'll see it in the slow motion, but hopefully everything makes sense. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, homegirl. Oh.